Final touches were finally put on the new McKenzie Bay wind turbine in Ishpeming today. As TV6's Noel McLaren reports, the turbine will save the Pioneer Bluff Apartments thousands of dollars in energy bills. The McKenzie Bay wind turbine in Ishpeming has been four years in the making, and today contractors put the final touches on the project. They began installing its three massive blades. What we have here today is history in the making. So this is um, the first of its kind worldwide. So it's exciting. The turbine will save the Pioneer Bluff high-rise apartments thousands of dollars in energy bills by switching from electric to wind energy. Our current bills generally run anywhere from twelve to thirteen thousand dollars per month. It should save us a lot of money in the end. But the project didn't come without hiccups. When contractors attempted to install it a year ago, the blades became deformed when they were lifted with a crane and cables. Contractors say that the blades were too weak and needed a new design. They went back to the drawing board. Now the blades have a stronger core structure and their installation process has been modified. The the process that we're going to go through here is we have a large steel space frame which we've constructed and the purpose of the space frame is that it has four clamps which can hold the blade rigidly and exactly precisely in four locations so with soft foam surfaces and then the, the frame itself will be taken and tilted up and lifted over to the tower and when the frame approaches the tower we have a unique way of positioning it and getting it exactly right. And this lifting frame is a state-of-the-art method of hoisting large structures into place safely, securely, and precisely. In fact, Mackenzie Bay is looking into patenting the structure. Mackenzie Bay still wants to run several tests on the turbine before the high-rise is switched over to the renewable energy source. But they expect to have it up and running within a month or two. Noel McLaren, TV6 News, Ishpeming.